Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Reapers. We're gonna get started here on a random run with a decent streak while still trying to faintly hold out hope that one day maybe raw liver will show up. I've heard some uh, tips, some tips involving like super gaming the game, like fighting a greed in the secret room, leaving a keeper alive. Tyre Vithel currently developing the upcoming game volume. Um, and apparently if you like leave a keeper alive, you get the steam sale payout, but then you can also quit and restart and then get another item and then just keep, or another steam sale I guess, and just keep doing it over and over and over and then re-roll it and eventually, you know, that'll give you a good chance to get raw liver. At this point, having done borderline zero gamey shit to get real platinum god, you know, I'm content to just kinda, you know, wait for RNGesus to bless me. It'll feel that much more special than trying to force it myself. You know, that's not the kind of player I am. Not that there's anything unethical or, you know, even, like, dubious about it, you know? It's a video game. It's a single-player video game. I don't care how you want to get these ach achievements if you want to get these achievements. However, uh, it's not my style. It's never been my style. And my style has taken me this far. So I'm going to continue to stick with things the way I've done them thus far. Then we got very lucky. This would be awesome if we just found it right off the bat. And instead we got some money, but it's actually a pretty decent amount of money for the early game. I cannot tell a lie. Bob's brain early on is the kind of thing that would scare the shit out of a lot of people, but uh, me personally, I think it's actually a fairly solid item. Especially when our damage sucks, as it does, as Lazarus. Oftentimes, anyway. Uh, this would be a really good floor. I mean, it's always a really good floor to do this as Lazarus. Well, in the early game. Um, but on an XL floor, if we could get ourselves killed and then come back to life with the damage modifier, and maybe even this is a more ideal case than normal to get ourselves killed, because we can get ourselves killed uh, to pick up two HP upgrades in quick succession, which doesn't happen all that often, and um, maybe we can even get ourselves killed on the deal with the devil, which would you know go a long way towards making sure that we got our money's worth out of it anyway. For now, we are gonna fight the boss right away just because we can. I hate mobile enemies with Bob's brain. We also found our second secret room, which is just ridiculous. I'll avoid picking that up for now, which means there's probably like a 15% chance, if not more, that I just completely forget to pick it up in the future. That's okay. Bob's brain, come back. We're gonna land a shot. Mmm, we did hit. Okay, that's good. And then we're just gonna stand pretty far away, give ourselves very little chance to take damage. Don't really want to have to go to the shop and buy a, uh, a spirit heart just to ensure that if we fight the haunt, we don't get completely dick fucked. And that was a pretty easy boss fight, all things considered. We get a halo. I, I was talking about killing myself. Uh, I, you know, the halo is like the perfect item to do that with, but I forgot. So forget about that. I guess the good news is, is that with the halo, we don't really need to. Uh, get the damage bonus, because we already got a pretty nice damage bonus. This is a suboptimal way to handle it, but hey, it is what it is. We're almost done with this pin boss fight, and, you know, RNG has been excruciatingly, unbelievably, amazingly good. Screw is, um, you know, somewhat helpful. And we will probably end up taking all of these, which would kill us. Well, it would leave us with one spirit heart. But they are all great. If only I hadn't picked up the halo. Ah, whatever. At this point, if we die, we die, right? Actually, no, let me let me think about this, because we will have one more item room left. I might have wasted some HP in the process there, and that's obviously not the, you know, correct way to actually play in this situation. However, we could still make the best of it, because we have an eternal heart. If we just get, like, an HP upgrade from our boss fight, or sorry, from this item room. Oh, we got Mom's Knife instead. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably the fastest one run we've ever had. Now, HP is going to be a little bit of a sore spot, but apart from HP, uh, this is a staggeringly incredible situation to start with, and hey, I would encourage you, if you're out there in, uh, in Dreamland, play the seat along with us. This is the most dangerous part of this whole run, because if we don't pick up a Spirit Heart soon, uh, we, we could end up getting ourselves killed by, via Bob's brain, which is half the fun, isn't it? So why don't we uh, work our way down here and just make sure that that doesn't happen? And we will totally pick up the 9 volt as well. Take our pill. Lemon party. Alright, it's, it's okay. How much time have we taken on this floor? 3 minutes and 51 seconds. Every floor from this point onwards is going to be even faster. I'm a little concerned uh, about our Bob's brain pickup now. Obviously, if I'd known that all of these incredible items 
would be coming later on this run. I probably wouldn't have been so vigilant about picking up Bomb's Brain right at the start. But at the same time, if anybody's saying, oh, you shouldn't have picked up Mom's Knife, that's bullshit. Hey, man. Part of the commitment to the, you know, randomness is commitment to randomness working out in your favor as well. I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth and then the game's like, fine, next time we're going to give you, you know, Brother Bobby and Jack fucking shit. From now on, that's what you get. So, I mean, this is, it's a wonderful situation to be in. I can't be uh, negatively perturbed about this one in the least. We'll fight in pretty much every room we get the opportunity to fight in. The only thing we have to worry about is Bob's brain, which even though I, I've gone and said it's a bad item in our situation where we have a in our situation where we have a, a decent amount of damage but do want to get close to enemies, if we don't get hit by it, it's it's a good thing. We're probably gonna get hit by it though. Like, like that's pretty much inevitable. But that's okay. As long as we can at some point get enough HP to make it, you know, a non-issue that we get hit by it. In a way, I actually respect it because it helps keep things more dynamic. And it, it you know, keeps this from being a 100% guaranteed one run. It's probably like a 95% one run, and then 5% I've ruined it for myself like an asshole. But really, the, the main event here, I think, is the, the opportunity for real Platinum God. We're not Isaac, so we really do need to get super lucky just on the uh, room generation to begin with for uh, for raw liver to show up, but either way. I guess, you know, my seeds have been pretty amazing thus far. That HP upgrade is... It's probably the most happy I'll ever be to pick up an HP upgrade, to be honest with you. No bombs, huh? Maybe a map in our shop would make me feel better. I will probably gain access to that curse room as well. Moon card. All right, that's that's great. We'll use that right away. And an, another all stats upgrade from Capricorn. It's kind of just getting comical at this point. Pandora's box on the caves one is so fucking good too. So we'll Pandora's box it up. We got super bandage out of it. I would say it's probably fair to say that our HP is uh, relatively safe right now. And we got a chest out of it that gave us a stupid amount of money. I believe magic fingers was the other item in there, so that's not that useful, but. Man, uh, at six minutes, this is maybe the most overpowered I've been this early. It's kind of just silly, honestly. Silly in a great way. Kind of like, you know, Monty Python, as opposed to silly in a bad way, like... Silly Vanilli. A, a joke doesn't make any sense. Super Envy is uh, just a waste of our time. And a waste of a little bit of HP as well, thanks to me being stupid with Bob's brain and then running into enemies. That's okay. No more Bob's Brain. We got a Troll Bomb and two Hermit cards, which actually... I'm happy to have the Hermit card, and people are gonna hate me because I'm going full scumbag here. But the Hermit card is great because of the opportunity to take us into the boss rush room and then teleport out for free. If we get something that's a little bit more, you know, useful from a card perspective, we'll probably end up taking that instead. But, uh, you know, the Hermit card is gonna be great for us. We do need to try to avoid taking damage here. Because I do still want to get deals with the devil. I have the amount of HP necessary to make it work. Oh, I dodged right into it like an idiot. Bob's brain is not back yet, which is great news. Bob's brain is back, which is scary news. We're going to double key it up. I was going to say, if that's a reroll room, don't expect too much out of me. I don't want to reroll this run. On, a, on an above average power run, sign me up. I'll reroll it. On a run that's this... Obs oh, fuck. We got to do it. Oh, okay, we'll completely fly in the face of what I was just saying. We got Tiny Planet, Peeper's Eye. Let's just recognize that that was a one run, and um, we'll all be happy for one another. And then we'll we'll count this as like another attempt at a win. We'll see how many wins we could get over the course of one run. What do we have on this run? You know, Tiny Planet, uh, Revenge Fly, which is great. Tiny Planet, um, maybe Common Colds? I don't know what these, like, dark tears are. I thought they might be concussive, but it doesn't seem to be really doing anything. They might be, um, it might be Strange Attractor, in which case, if we can get Tiny Planet and Strange Attractor all out of the way at the same time, that's fine by me. And of course we get the, it seems like it happens on a lot of extremely overpowered runs that a D4 shows up. Fucking guilt trips me into getting rid of what I had to crank up the absurdity level, but hey, that's a, it's the 
situation we're in, that's all right. We'll D4 as much as is humanly possible, and hopefully not end up breakfasting ourselves. Maybe we'll D4 into something that's absurd, and then we'll stop using the D4. This is absurd, but not in a way that I'm that big of a fan of. Um, and then we'll stop uh, using D4 so we don't end up breakfasting ourselves and making it impossible to continue, you know? For now, though, this is okay. I don't know why we're down so much HP. We must have gained a lot of red heart containers in the reroll. That boss fight was more difficult than it would have been with uh, Mom's Knife, obviously. That's going to be true for a lot of rooms. Uh, this room's not that bad, though. I think it was really just enemies that have high HP are going to be annoying. Which is true in a lot of situations. But enemies that have low HP, I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. I don't, you know, relish the thought of fighting Teratoma when we don't have an easy ability to hit enemies that are getting up in our grill. Yeah, we, I think we do have Strange Attractor. We also have uh, Charm of the Vampire, I think. More than enough money to buy something from the shop. Could trade a bomb for a key. Not a bad trade. What floor are we on here? This is It's Catacombs 2 already, so the Boss Rush Dream still alive. Now that I look at it, maybe it's not a um, strange attractor. I'll take BFF. Mostly just because it gives us an item to reroll. Um, we're not going to end up using it as much as I would like to, but that's okay. Probably anyway, because it'll get rerolled into something else immediately. Um, but maybe it's not strange attractor. Maybe it's just a weird tier color interaction between like two different items. One of which I think actually might be um, curve sp or spoon bender. I'm not fully sure about that, though. Help me. There we go. So, I'm not buying the battery charge from the shop. Just on the off chance that uh, our next reroll ends up being awful. Like this reroll that comes out of this room. And then if this is awful, we can buy the battery charge. So, we got... Um, oh, we got Ludovico piercing shots. Which doesn't really matter, I guess, with Ludovico. Plus BBF. Plus some kind of fear shot. I like this one. but I, Oh, we got Lord of the Flies as well, which is going to stick with us forever. But anyway, I like this one, but I don't know if I like it enough to keep it. It's kind of cool, but we have Ludovico technique often enough that like this is not that big of a deal. That being said, at the same time, I'm not going to uh, bother buying the battery charge for it. Instead, we'll just move along and we'll be able to reroll it in the future. Uh, we did not find our secret room. We'll be able to reroll it in the future anyway. Hopefully get something a little bit more ridiculous. So I'm thinking our secret room... Pro Sorry, what? <laughs> Where is our secret room? Could it be down here? Oh, it must be down here then. Alright. Well, okay. Uh, well, let's let's reroll it. That was fun while it lasted. Some kind of tech... I think we got tech point five out of this. Lord of the Flies... Blood of the Martyr, Blue Baby's Only Friend, Sissy Long Legs, Little Chub. This is a very good reroll. What about this? Is this rerolled? No. Uh, it's a pretty good reroll. I'll probably reroll a couple more times just to see what's up. But again, I'm, I'm very wary of putting ourselves in the situation where we're permanently breakfasted, which it, it happens and it's it really ruins your run. It's not that I don't like to be absurd, it's just that it would be terrible. You know what? In fact, I think we might even stick with this run. I think we've got good synergy attempts from it. Um, I, I think it can be ridiculous, and I love Tech Point 5. Like, Tech Point 5 is just a, a crazy powerful item. So, yeah, you know what? We'll get rid of the D4 as soon as possible, and we'll roll with this. And if anybody has a problem with it, uh, fudge you, basically. Because, you know, we rerolled a run that was truly amazing to turn it into one that was amazing and funny. How can you not like that? You know, the only way you're going to be happy is if I reroll this into absolute bullshit and end up killing myself as a result. Have some mercy, please. Be reasonable. We also have Stompy, which I did not realize. And, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll pick up nine lives here, even though it will cost us, like, literally all of our HP. Just because it'll give us a better chance of becoming Guppy. And, again, because it's kind of ridiculous, and I like that. Once you can win going full zany, it's a good position to be in. I'm not re-rolling again. We're going to be looking for a spacebar item to replace our existing one. Tech point five might be the best DPS improver in the game, so uh, to have it feels pretty good. I'll take the pill. I'm not scared. All right, well, we don't really want it, but that's okay. 
Uh, let's... I mean, I, I realize, by the way, we could get Red Candle. I just kind of don't really care enough about Red Candle. I, our tiers do enough damage that we don't need to uh, invest in that item. Now, if you give me... I was going to say, if you give Steam Sale, we could do something there. But you didn't give Steam Sale. We could hope for a Perthro rune or something like that, I guess. As is right now, um, in spite of the fact that this has been ridiculous, this should be a one run. Doesn't necessarily get uh, much better than this from a damage standpoint. Obviously our HP is terrible, but now I'm hoping for utility items. I'm hoping to pick up some, some stupid stuff. Uh, Spoonbender would be awesome. Anything that, like, I, w I would even welcome soy milk at this time, at this point. Anything that grossly increases our rate of fire would be hilarious and maybe effective as well. But as of right now, this is pretty excellent. I'm not going to take Crack the Sky, and I know I was like, well, I want to replace my D4 with something. This is something. However, it's also kind of a boring item that I just, uh, I would probably never end up using. So my overall philosophy about that is mostly, who cares? Who cares about that item? If you do care about that item, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but I am uh, I'm very curious about why you have the feelings you have, and that's okay. I'm still probably fully three minutes ahead of uh, where I want to be when I end this floor, so we got tons of time to sneak into that boss rush, snag an item that would give us a cool synergy, and then bounce out, or maybe we'll just snag something that's nearly, you know, completely worthless. Let's see what we got going on. Gish fight. And now this will be the first opportunity in a while to really see the DPS that we've got going on here. It's not quite, you know, the mom's knife level that we had going on earlier. But it's one-shotting, you know, our basic bads. That's good for me. Mini mobs. And a little Gish pickup doesn't hurt either. Plus, we got to be Lord of the Flies on this run. And as not amazing as that is, it's still nice. Makes it much more difficult to, to hit us. And, uh... On an enemy like Blue Baby, it helps out a, a not insignificant amount, depending on how much damage you do. Anyway, I forgot about this. We should be crushing the crap out of these. That's worked out very nicely. Two of spades gives us 32 keys. Pretty much makes us, you know, Yara room proof for the future. You know, we got 20 bombs. Let's blow these up. All right, that, that last one was a very dumb idea. Let's try this one again. Four bombs for nothing is not my favorite alternative indie rock band from the mid-2000s, nor is it what I was hoping for there, but it's the situation we find ourselves in. I recognize that we have a, a blood bank and maybe some demon judgments that we can play. If there's demon judgments, I'm excited. If there's a blood bank, could really care less. I know that it's couldn't care less. Tell you what, I could care less about you being a freaking grammar fascist, you goddamn asshole. You know what I mean. Isn't that the point of language? Got a key. Uh, we're at 15 minutes. More than enough time to go to every room and still get a free item from Boss Rush. Blood Bank. I mean, we'll play it once. I really doubt we're going to get a payout from it. Well, I mean, we got a penny if you want to be pedantic, but that's nothing particularly special. Still holding on to the D4. It's, it's burning a hole in my pocket right now. I want to use it. Because we could re-roll it into, you know, Brimstone, you know, Libra Soy Milk or something like that. Isn't that one of uh, Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow's children? Brimstone, Libra Soy Milk. Martin, Paltrow, Apple, Orchard. Blue map. That makes my life much easier, honestly. Maggie's Faith is probably something we'll choose to roll with. Because the HP would be nicer than the keys at this point. Like, we're already fairly set from a key standpoint. That was not a, a smart move on my part. But hey, we got our uh, we got our heart back anyway. Yeah, Champion's Belt for sure. Not into... Uh, why even buy that? Not into the uh, little baggie. I think that item is fairly terrible. We're at 162 here. It's going pretty well. We're going to completely run out of money here, I'm pretty sure. Alright. I will crack open these things. Another heart never hurt anybody. Is there anything we can do about that? Like, I don't really want to pick up the quarter. If we... The reason I'm not going to pick it up is because we can get a Perthrow rune. 
and then we could possibly have a chance to reroll it. I know, by the way, that maybe D4 could reroll into raw liver. I don't want that to be how I... Ah, uh, maybe we should. Would it even count as real Platinum God if we did that? Oh my god. It's anti-grav... My reflection... Oh, this is weird. The shot speed is out of control. Oh, this is definitely our, um... And we got guillotine or something silly here. This is definitely our uh, strange attractor that we got going on here. I don't think we want to roll with this any longer than is absolutely goddamn necessary. The shot speed is out of control, though. So we got to stand here so our tears actually, like, generate. The shot speed is so crazy. I think we might have Loki's horns. We got Maggie's bow, dry baby. Plenty of flies. The damage is actually pretty great. It's just very, very difficult to hit an enemy and even harder to make sure that we don't get hit ourselves. Alright, let's reroll that shit. Um, this is weird. It seems pretty okay, though. Let's see what our damage is like when we encounter, you know, a, a boss or something. I, our rate of fire is really high, at least. Our HP is a lot better. Still Lord of the Flies, obviously. Uh, we can play the Blood Banks more, but now, you know, somewhat ironically, I guess we don't need to. I, I kind of prefer this, and now we ab absolutely do not need um, uh, our Maggie's Faith. No question about that. Reddit.com slash r slash Maggie's Faith. We still have our world card. World card. Uh, we didn't reroll blue map, I guess. No, we did reroll blue map. God dang it. So we'll keep our hermit card. Monster Man well, no thank you. We're already we're done with that meat boy shit. This run seems good enough. I don't know how much more I'm going to, you know... I'm going to ruin my ch chances of uh, possibly making it out of this, you know. Bombs are key. Ah, we got a lot of bombs now. Not so many keys. I'm trying to think. Of, I think we got, like, Mulligan, Parasite. Obviously, Samson's Chain. Punching Bag. Bum Friend. It's a, this is a pretty good one. I should pick up that key. I made a mistake there. Charm Tears of some kind. Probably, uh... Probably Mom's Mascara, I guess. And the damage is acceptable. Alright, we're going to roll with this one instead. It's a run that's going to change a lot as time goes on. I'm going to give up on my uh, my raw liver dreams. Uh, at least, like, give up on re-rolling the D4 into it. What do I want on this run? We want a better spacebar item? There's our better spacebar item. Pinking Shears. Now the, uh, the temptation is taken away. World... Hanged, Magician, that's good. I think I'm going to take the World card, because it will allow me to easily find the Secret Room on the next few floors, which is not something that's 100% guaranteed. In fact, we'll save it for the chest, and normally you would never do that with a World card, but we'll save it for the chest because, um... Curse of the Blind. Eh, it doesn't matter that much. We'll take whatever's on a deal with the Devil anyway. Uh, we'll save it for the chest because, again, that gives us the highest percentage chance of getting an item on it. I don't know, man. This is a weird run. I think that probably goes without saying. At the same time, it's actually like a pretty good Lazarus run. Like, I would rather be on this crazy train than your average Lazarus run, which is just like... Because his luck's bad, and his other stats don't really make up for it. He's kind of a fun character to play as due to that weird dynamic, and, you know, the fact that you can just, like, resign yourself to death early in a strategically beneficial fashion. But, uh, apart from that... I didn't even realize that was me. I thought that was my punching bag. Apart from that, uh, you know, rarely anybody's favorite character in the game, that's for sure. Wow, uh, easy find here. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll go back and look for that secret room, but I'm not going to go back and look for it all the way. I'm just going to go back and look for it right here, which I don't think it'll be there. Oh, it was. That, thank you for making this guilt free for me. Lemon party. Range down, not a huge deal. Hematomesis, kind of a problem. Lost, oh, but we have Maggie's bow, so we gained a lot of HP. Out of that? We don't look like we have Maggie's bow. I thought we had Maggie's bow on a different run. Maybe that's an item that sticks with you. Doesn't seem like it would be, but... I don't know. For now, uh, Shears Baby, I guess, can't even attack Mama Girl. Oh, there it goes, it found a hand. That extra DPS help is nice. 
wooden spoon for a speed upgrade, completely unnecessary, and a Krampus fight that I very much hope is Lump of Coal, because I'm not getting rid of the shears for Krampus' head at this point. And Lump of Coal plus Parasite, I think, works pretty well together. Head of Krampus. <laughs> I'm not even going to complain, because I'd say, you know, fully half the time we actually get the item that we want to get out of that Krampus fight. A little bit of bad luck never hurt anybody. Curse of the Unknown. Not a big deal either way. Thank you, punching bag. Makes it very easy to take out enemies that have the audacity to fire a bullet at us. And most of these rooms are getting taken out pretty quickly. Again, damage-wise, it's kind of weird to be in a situation where we're on a good run, but our good run is still not as good as where we were on, like, the second floor. Or the first XL floor, I guess. But still, this is a more interesting run uh, than just full-out mom's, mom's knife destruction, I would say. And that's coming from someone who love, loves a uh, mom's knife. Not loving this room, but I'm loving the fact that we found our boss fight super quickly. Might as well pop the shears, and the shears, you're kind of sucking. I gotta say, you're not targeting enemies properly. It's like you're getting fucked up by my best friend or something. There we go. Shears has found its target. All you pretty much need to do is stand there, and this fight is going to be over before it even really gets a chance to begin. Pretty good. We're going to leave uh, just for a second here on the off chance that our secret room is right. Well, that probably wouldn't have found it. Ah, it wouldn't be here anyway. Well, let's come back quickly, and we'll take some quick checks here. We got 70 bombs. Well, the only other one I would expect to find is here, and it wouldn't be here. Alright, uh, I'm not going to look for the secret room on this floor. We'll save that for the chest. Hopefully get, like, some chest generators out of that. Wheel of Fortune card or something. Other than that, I'm just having a fun time on this run. And that's okay, too. Second secret room is an Eternal Heart. That I think is an okay pickup. Almost uh, overshot the beam of light there. No curse on this floor, which is kind of surprising, honestly. Somebody up there likes me, I guess. And this is like the fastest weird run I think we've ever had. We didn't really get any rerolls with the D4 that were just truly abysmal. I wonder what percentage of this run, by the end of it, is actually going to end up being that fight with Tiny Planet uh, against uh, the Dark One. I think that fight was like two minutes long. That might end up being like a little under 10% of this total run time. Which is kind of hilarious. D4, always a fun item though. Not always the kind of thing you're in the mood for, but truth be told, I am glad I took the roll there, you know? If you have the chance to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Is that Jody Messina? I don't remember. Is that her real name? It's not Jody. It's Joe D. It's Dirte. Joe Dirte Messina. I like my country music singers the way I like my... David Spade movies. Dirty. Do we have sh no, we don't have shielded tears. It was just our orbitals helping us out. Now, never do what I did in that situation. I sincerely thought that um, we were going to be able to kill him before he attacked again. Didn't work out that way. Extra key never really hurt, but might not necessarily help. Really? Really? Oh. My best friend. Come on, dog. Really, really hoping for, yeah, exactly what we got there. Although, maybe with a, with a touch of guppy items, that would have been a little better, but um, much appreciated nonetheless. I have a feeling Monster 2 is not going to put up too much of a threat here. Punching bag helping out a little bit. I miss old Monster 2, man. Remember when that used to be the easiest room that you could encounter on the cathedral? It's still not that tough, but still. I can't believe, you know, there was a release yesterday, or a press release, that original Binding of Isaac, or Wrath of the Lamb at least, is, is actually getting an update this week. Or soon at least. Which is just ridiculous. I had no idea that that was actually going to take place. Kind of cool though. I didn't actually look at what's going to be in it because I haven't decided if I'm going to play it myself yet. I may or may not. Still some people out there who want to get the, to 1,000 episodes of Vanilla, but if you've gone back and played Wrath of the Lamb since playing Rebirth, it's very difficult to kind of wrap your head around. Not like it's it's an inconceivably bad game or something like that, it just it looks and plays 
different enough to be like its own unique thing. Which is, it's very surreal considering how closely related they are. Um, we're gonna look for secret rooms here. We're gonna look for secret rooms here and here. And then we're gonna go fight the boss. Alrighty. And we got a battery out of that, which is not really what I was looking for. Okay. Well, we could use the Empress card against Isaac. I guess there's no reason not to do that. Pop Shears quickly as well and then get it running through the middle. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fairly solid damage. I appreciate him shooting entirely at Punching Bag as well. Yeah, Shears. Saved me from an awkward situation there. Oh, come on, though. Get in there. We're doing enough damage in our own right anyway, but, you know, the faster the fight ends, the better it is for everybody. There we go. There we go. There we go. And it's not over. Thank you. All right. This is, to some extent, the moment of truth. At least we don't have to worry about holding on to a Yara rune and maybe use it on a chest later. No Curse of the Lost? Good. Curse of the Blind. That's a little trickier, but... Four question marks, who would have thought? Notched axe, not very good. Satanic Bible, at least useful once. Book of Sin, at least useful once. Nope. <laughs> An iron bar. Iron bar is alright. Alright, we know exactly where we need to go, so we don't have to waste too much time here. You are going to be a doll and pay out with a fortune teller card, so we have a double average chance of getting uh, the item we want. Nope. Paralysis. I don't think a fool card is advantageous for us at all. Look, I'm not very content with that play. I didn't even realize that we had the revenge attack fly. I actually really like this attack fly. It's like a dead bird, but you can control it, which means it's dead bird, but not quite as stupid, depending on, you know, whether or not you're me. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Now, if you could just stay away from my butthole. That's my number one rule for enemies. No touching of the face and or ass. Mutually agreed upon in advance, ideally. Guess we didn't reroll uh, too many luck upgrades. Haven't had a chest drop at all yet. Except for the four that we start with, but come on now. Those are exempt. Can you drop a chest? I don't think you can, but if you could, I would love it if you could drop one of those in the secret room. Not that I'm getting desperate or anything. You know, wink wink. We're, this is a one run, by the way. I, I think it was pretty much a foregone conclusion to start with here, but just in case you were worried about this run, and we haven't talked about our strategy in a while, it's because our strategy is relatively meaningless. This run will be a win, whether or not I use the, the shears, you know, as optimally as possible. We'll just save it for Blue Baby or... Possibly like a double cage or a double adversary room or something like that. Don't like this room. But it's not bad enough to consider, you know, throwing a shears charge away. Four Monstros is actually my favorite Mark Wahlberg movie, but also a fairly easy room. And, you know, even taking damage doesn't really bother me all that much, all things considered. We're like three rooms away from our boss room anyway. Alright. Don't fuck with me on this one. Pay out, pay out, pay out. Pay out, I hate you. What about, you know, maybe like a small chance of getting like a chest drop from each one of these guys? Alright, well, the dream is dead. Long live the dream. Run was still fun. You know, we can't always be so results oriented. We gotta focus on having a good time as well. We're here for a good time, not a long time, so have a nice time. The sun don't shine every day. You might consider not making your mood so dependent on the weather. I mean, that's something, you know, Milli Vanilli told us to blame it on the rain, but if there ain't no rain, then tell us what can be blamed, you know? All right. Even if we took damage getting Shears in there, we have to get Shears in there. And uh, Blue Baby is a lot less mobile than Isaac, which is going to make... Shears a much more potent item. Not that it was bad to begin with, it was fantastic to begin with, but this fight's already over before I could even finish that sentence, so what can I even say? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.